it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you all here with me today. So on Friday, I made a postcard, this postcard using Keely O'Brien's new book. And her book has been living rent-free in my head. And I thought I would make a couple um, artist trading cards today. Just a couple, nothing fancy. I have this pad. I believe I got this paper pad from Timu. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. So this has a lot of like letters, postage, postcards, that kind of stuff. So I thought I'd use that as a background. So artist trading cards are two and a half inches by three and a half inches. And you can trade them, keep them, send them in happy mail, whatever you want to do. So let's start off by, I'm actually not gonna do a master board. I'm gonna collage individually on these. Did I just, yeah, two and a half, okay. <laughs> For a second there, I thought I didn't have it right. Okay, so I'm gonna cut these two, two and a half, two and a half, and then I want to make sure that this is three and a half because this is Michael's cardstock. And they are known for not having their papers exactly right. Okay. So there we go. Three and a half. Okay. And then I would just cut these to two and a half. This isn't very, like, sturdy cardstock. It's just, what is it, 65 pound or something like that. I'll trim these up off camera another time. Okay, and then the, this is what I put on the back of my, I, I should cut a couple of these up too. This is what I put on the back of my artist trading card. Um, you don't have to print anything like this, you can just write. Um, basically, they should have your name and the date on them. If you wanna add other information like your email address for people who wanna trade more often. If you have a YouTube channel, you could put that. Um, a lot of times people put the number and then of what that means is like right now, technically I'd be doing a set of four. So I could name this number one of four, two of four, three of four and four of four. So I'm just going to trim these down. Um, this sheet right here I made is free in my um, Facebook group. So you can go and check that out if you want one. And I'm just going to trim it down. You could also make your own. Or, like I said, you don't have to even print one of these. You could just write your own information on the back if you prefer. There's no rule on that, on how how you're supposed to do that. So, Okay, so there's one. All right, let's collage on some of the backs of these, or on some of the fronts of these. Okay, so they're pretty small. Again, two and a half by three and a half inches. Okay, so let's grab some of these. Some of these will fit, like, I'll use the whole thing probably, and some I might collage. So let's go through here. And some go vertical and some go horizontal. Um, well, that's kind of pretty with the queen. The young queen. Oh, it looks like there's two of each maybe. Oh, that's awesome, I love that. Okay, I kind of like this one. Let's grab that, and then let's find another. Um, I do like the letter. That's nice. Okay. Ooh, no, I like this one. Okay. Ooh, I like this too. All right. So those are all cute. I mean, there's so many that I could pick from. So like this one would cover the whole thing, but I could have it going sideways and have somebody right here. I do like that. Okay. So I'm do, these are going to be very basic and very plain because I want the star of the show to be the image from Keeley's book. So let's glue this, but I think I kind of want to just have this plain kind of solid background here. Eh. Okay. So you, let's just plop this on here. Okay, and I'm gonna hold it up to the light. I'm gonna hold it up a little bit because I can see. Uh-oh, I'm losing time. I gotta go this way. <laughs> Shoot, it's starting to stick already. Okay, this one's just gonna have to go right there because it's living there now. All right, hopefully I got most of that 
postcard part. Okay, I'm just gonna let that dry, move on to the next one. Okay, this one, I will do this. I could also use this side as well. Can I fit two on here? <gasps> I can, okay. All right, let's glue both of these and we'll put them both on there. Ah. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just put this one down. Do I like the whole top? Yes, okay. I'm just gonna put this upside down, put it about here, and this one about here. They don't have to be exactly perfect, but there we go. I'm gonna turn this over, give these a press. Did I press this one? I feel like I did. Okay. All right, so we have three. Do I wanna do one more? I'd said I was gonna do four, but I have these two as well. I do kind of just like the blue writing like that. It looks really good, actually. Yeah, okay, let's do that. And then obviously I'll save the paper that I cut off because I could use that to collage another one. So I guess I'm really not collaging these too much. <laughs> With, when they're so small like this, sometimes that helps if there's not like a ton of busyness in the background, which granted this is busy because it's handwriting, but you know what I mean? Like all different kinds of prints and, and that kind of stuff. So I'm just kind of lining this up right on the edge there so I can maximize my paper. Okay, let's move that over there. Where's my lid now? Hello, there it is, okay. All right, let's cut these bad boys now. Let's start with the first one I did. Okay, so here are my four backgrounds ready to go. I really don't like the way this one looks, so I think I'm going to add like this strip right here, just to cover that. I don't know, I don't like it, so I'm gonna cover it. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. If you don't like it, fix it so you do. And this will probably get covered up anyways, but at least it's more pleasing to look at for me. So now I'm going to flip through here, keep my scraps over there and find some of the images that I want to use. See so you, I do like this little boy. I think he's really cute. Okay. Um, I definitely want to use a male this time. Okay, I think I'm gonna use him. I think he's really cute. So there's that could have like a little red truck or something behind him or like this. Okay, let me cut him out. So I'll use two dudes and two girls. Okay, so I got those two. I like her. I like her a lot. Let's use her. Okay. I think I'll go with her. Okay. Okay, so I have my pieces cut out. These are my four main images. And then these are a few of my little accessories to put behind if I feel the need. So let's actually, let's not. <laughs> I was gonna say, let's ink this, but I do want to round the corners on these first. So, do I want to, how do I want to start this? Let's see here. Okay, this guy is a little lower, so I thought for him, I would put him on a piece that had a lot more going on. So maybe something to that effect, and then I could put, I don't know, maybe like a little, 
Should I have a little package behind him? I kind of feel like that takes away from him. I could also put, you know, well, actually I could put this even lower, put it behind him a little bit, something to that effect. I don't know. Okay, moving on. Let's move on to her. Let's see how she looks on here. Oh, she looks great on this page. Put like a little package behind her like that. Oh, that looks so cute. Now these already have stamps, so I don't think I want to add a stamp, but I do have a couple letters. I could add like a little, I don't want to take away from, Ooh, I could put it down here though. Something like that, because I want to keep some of the handwriting. Okay, let's do that. Um, I do want to ink around these pieces first because it makes them just pop a little bit better and uh, these are vintage looking items so to me they just look more polished and better when they have uh, inking around them plus you don't see the white on the edges from when you cut the sides of the paper you don't see so now on her I'm just going to go a little lighter I really just want those white edges not to show I'm just kind of barely touching the edges here. And then in here, let's kind of bend that a little bit. Okay. All right, so that looks good. Let's add a lid on here. Okay, so first I need to put the package and let's see, add her about like this, right? Okay, so I have my little package right there. I could bring this down just a little bit more so we can see more of that handwriting. And then this right in here, like so. Okay. Okay, so we had this, ooh, big old glob of glue. There we go. I had this about like that, right? Let me put her back on here. Yeah, that's good, okay. And then I want the letter. that maybe like like so yeah that is cute okay so let's glue her down now okay let's put her over the top here Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Okay, um, here's my little tool here. I'm gonna turn this on its back because I find it's easier to smush everything down. See, I'm getting a lot of like a clump of glue there. But when I do it on the back, I don't risk ruining my, the front part or moving my images around. Okay. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. This might be the cutest little ATC ever. I'm just gonna go around in brown. I could have gone around in red or blue or something like that. I do have a navy blue. That might look kind of cool too. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so there's the first one done. Let's move on to, I love this little boy. Now this one, I was still gonna go this direction. Maybe I wanna use him. I don't know if I like that one anymore. Let me see about this, this kid here. Okay, I like that. And then what if I put this behind him, like so. And then we could put like a little stampy poo right there. Okay, so we have that one. I also have this I could put behind him like it's hanging on a wall. but it just kind of makes it look like it's floating, doesn't it? Okay. So let me see what she looks like on here. I knew she'd look pretty no matter what. That stamp's kind of big for this, but 
kind of works too, doesn't it? Okay, so I have her, and then I could put like, oh man, I don't wanna, oh, here's a smaller letter. That's the thing is I don't really wanna cover, you know, too much. something like that I feel like this stamp is the wrong one but I do kind of like it like that and then I thought she might look good on here too because it's just writing Ooh, maybe I like her better on here oh this is upside down or is it shit I can't tell um no, it goes this way, okay. So we have this, and then I could put, or I could put it down here too. Let's try this one. Kinda just like it like that, huh? Would the stamp look way too big behind her head? Kind of, doesn't it? Maybe this one wouldn't look too bad. That's cute. Okay, so let's glue this first. We'll glue the little stamp. We'll just put that up here. Doesn't have to be perfect, it's a background piece. Okay, and then we have her, like so. And I wanted this, so let's glue this. Okay, now we'll glue her. A little chunk of glue there. Okay. Oops. Uh-oh, there we go. Okay, let's turn her over. Give her a little rub down. Perfect. The bottom, just a wee little bit. Perfect, perfect. Okay, that is cute. Oh my gosh, I love these. Okay, let's go around the edges. You could always add more. I'm kind of uh, more of a simple type crafter. I like less is more for me. Okay, so that looked really good. Okay, so maybe I'll only do three. I think maybe I'll do this kid. And then I liked this behind him. Like that. And then maybe I need to find like a little or what if I put him this way and put this right here? Ooh, I do kind of like that better. Is that what I want to do? Kind of feel like he needs like a little letter or something. Um, okay. So let's cut these real fast here. Okay, and then I had this package. I'm just gonna cut the string right off because I don't need it and it's a pain in the butt. I always just cut things off that I won't be using and when you put it in the collage, you will not even notice. If it's your main focal point, then maybe I would keep it, but it's a background piece, so okay. So I have him like so. Could do something like that. Or Hmm. 
Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to go for it and see how I like it when it's down. I'm getting way too picky here. I just need to start gluing some things down and see how I like it. All right. So let's glue this guy down first. Okay. Okay, I think I like the little box right there. And then, oh shoot, I didn't ink them. <laughs> Darn it. Oh well, what do you do? I mean, can I pull it up just a little bit and then, oh, I can. Okay, I'll just pull it up and I really only care about the top part because I'm actually probably going to end up covering that up anyways. Okay. All right. Time for the envelope or envelope, depending on how you say it. Okay, that looks good. Where's my lid? Okay, let's go around the edges here. Perfect. Oh my gosh, these look so good. Okay. Do I even want to mess with this one? Now, this one I could go this way because artist trading cards, you do not have to go. You can go horizontal. So I could do this. You know what? I really don't like this. Okay. Well, I don't like that one, so I'm not going to do it. Um, it's kind of nice to have some extra pieces just to kind of play with and see what you'd like to use. I ended up not wanting to use those today, so I'm not going to. So now I will fill in the backs of these and then put them on the back. All right, everyone, that is going to conclude today's video. Here are my three postcards. I only added one of the backs to the back right now because my hands are... A little shaky right now so I'm just gonna wait till my hands feel a little bit better but I'm super happy with the way my artist trading cards turned out um, they're very simplistic but I used one two three one two three this one I used four elements on and the other two I used three so I used quite a bit of ephemera on there I hope you guys have a fabulous day thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys tomorrow bye friends